Our top story this week makes us acutely aware of the presence of luck in our lives. It was certainly a bit of bad luck for a couple from Naperville's Aero Estates when they took off in their small plane last Wednesday morning. Their Piper 32 suddenly lost altitude and crashed into a health club near 75th Street in Route 59. But the rest of the story involves a whole lot of good luck. NCTV 17's Kevin Maycheck reports. At 12.05 p.m., the Naperville Fire and Police Departments responded to an emergency call at Export Fitness. Experienced pilot Lloyd McKee and his wife Maureen were on a trip to Pittsburgh when their plane accidentally crashed into the Export building. None of the 280 people inside the gym at the time were hurt. One of them was NCTV employee Jay Gusiniak, who captured some of the first footage of the rescue efforts after being evacuated with other gym members. I just heard a big thump looked over there and you could almost see a little bit of light and you could hear people scurry out of the gym and then I just heard all the staff yell, get out, get out. I was getting gas at Costco and we saw, I saw the plane coming in, it was descending and it was wobbling and then one of the, the person that works at the gas station said that the plane hit and that's when I came over here and then that's where we saw the, the hole in the building. As for the couple in the plane, they sustained broken bones and cuts and are being treated at Edward Hospital. I predict that they will make a good recovery and I don't think they'll have anything that uh, turns out to be a life-threatening uh, or limb-threatening problem. We're all just we're just very happy that it, that it, uh, if it occurred, uh, there was there was no loss of life involved. Ed McDevitt is the McKee's neighbor and also an experienced pilot. He says that perhaps the most fortunate and unusual part of the whole story is that no fire ever broke out at the scene. In that plane that he has, as well as the, the one that I have here, the fuel is carried in the wings. So the wings were probably severed in some fashion to eliminate the, the, the fuel from, from any heat source. Crews spent the entire night airlifting those wings and other parts of the wreckage from the building. Looking at the gym 24 hours later, it's hard to believe such a thing had ever happened. Reporting from Export Fitness, Kevin Maycheck, Naperville News 17. Records indicate Lloyd McKee has been registered with the FAA from at least the year 2000 and is rated to pilot single-engine planes.